Our next guest is an aimless temp worker in the new romantic comedy called Temps. Actor Grant Rosenmeyer is here with us. Oh, you're going to say I'm an actual aimless temp. You're just an aimless temp yourself. <laughs> Which is kind of what an actor temp is. Guess. You're you're temp guest. You're a temp Now you have the number one romantic comedy on iTunes. We do, yeah. As of this, this sitting. So I This is a new age comedy. Is that what it's called? A new age comedy? I would say it's kind of a new, new age romantic comedy. Sure, age. yeah. Romantic comedy. How what does it involve? Like digital stuff? Well, yeah, you know, it does kind of does kind of tackle dating in the you know in the social network age and you know and getting uh, a job. Yeah, and getting a job and just it's just how hostile the market is now and just kind of what it means to be in your twenties at this point. And there aren't a whole lot of movies out there that really deal with that mm -hmm. in kind of a very simple but nice way. It treats the audience with respect. So I like it a lot. You play you play Jefferson. So I play Jefferson. Yeah. And your love interest is Stephanie. Yep. Played by Lucy Here, Shaw. And here's a clip. This is how we have a clip. You have a There's clip. A oh, right? we have a clip. This is how this is how you meet the old-fashioned way. Even though this is a new romantic comedy, this is the old-fashioned way meeting face to face at the workplace. What a concept. Ever been skiing? I was more of a field hockey girl. Me too. I have a boyfriend. Was that for me or for her? You. Oh, okay. Congrats. Sorry, I was just trying to shut this down. Shut what down? This little banter we have going on. Why? Banter usually implies ulterior motives. <laughs> I'm not hitting on you. Good. Would you like me to? No. Seems like maybe you would like him to hit on you. Call him like I see him. I'm Jefferson. Stephanie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I can see, during the female window, uh, Lindsay Shaw actually knew each other before, and matter of fact, you guys happened to have been roommates. We were, yeah, yeah. What happened was when I first moved to Los Angeles uh, three years ago, I was gonna move in with a, with a mutual friend of ours uh, who was also an actor, and it was just gonna be the two of us, and then he was like, actually, my friend Lindsay is looking for a place also. Do you think we could look for a three bedroom? And I had never, uh, uh, oh, oh there, there we are. Aww. Yeah, no, that's us. That's not roommates, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that is, hey man, <laughs> hey man. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, we just became Clearly friends. you guys have chemistry. Yeah, I mean, roommates were you, with chemistry, were, right? Yeah. yeah, was there a relationship before or just roommates? No, no, just, there wasn't. It was, no, not at all, actually. Okay. Yeah, we, we hated each other. Did you? <laughs> no, no, no. As no. you do, you're we like, just, uh, you left the cereal out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, but once you see, you know, once you really get to know somebody that well right. and, uh, you know, you see somebody in their face cream and pajamas. It's there's definitely a familiarity. It makes that was a lot you easier in the face to, cream. I had the face. You cream. had the face cream on. She okay. had the the, the Spider-Man pajamas. Yes. And, and, uh, with the and the night guard. You know, so it does definitely. Uh, it definitely adds a, a chemistry and an ease with the person to work with. Sure. Well, in this, you had no studio, no really big major star, no big producer, and yet you were able to fund this and make this. How, you how, just hearing you say that just sounds crazy. Did you shoot this on an iPhone? Wonderful. Like, what did you... I, well, you we didn't nothing. want to ruin it, but there's the director over there, and he's got the iPhone we shot on. <laughs> oh, no. How, wow. how did you raise the money? How did you do that? Uh, so what happened was, you know, it started very simplistically. The uh, the uh, the filmmaker, Ryan Sage, uh, I think he just had some some, you know, close friends as investors, and I think he... You know, did it himself. He was, I mean, he really just killed himself to get this thing made. So we shot the movie. Uh, you know, we shot most of uh, the main filming, um, and then we just needed some finishing funds, really, just to go back through some standard pickups and reshoots, um, and uh, and then post production uh, to f get the movie finished. And we did a Kickstarter campaign to raise another thirty thousand um, dollars. And what I, what came from that was just I didn't expect it to happen, but we. You, you really pick up a fan base, and there's an awareness yeah. for the film, and people are not just invested financially, but also emotionally in your success. And sure. so, you know, it's one thing to kind of share a success and have a number one romantic comedy on iTunes with, like, a studio, but it's another thing when people really got on your, you know, are in your camp, and so now we have a whole bunch of people who are so happy, and it just makes it it's so much nicer. To you know? think that you have the number one comedy, I know it's on iTunes, mm -hmm. but... Romantic comedy. Romantic, romantic comedy. comedy. Romantic comedy. Romantic comedy on iTunes. Somebody should get real mad about that. 30, no, they don't. <laughs> and yet you did it on 33,000, 30,000. Yeah, 000, eventually like 70, yeah. But it grew but up to that. Just grew. So Snowball. you did it with, with um, crowdfunding or Kickstart? Yeah. Or Kickstarter? How long we, did it take? I think it was like uh, the standard. I can't remember yeah. how much that it was. Uh, two two, two months, two I think. Months, two months. Wow, that's Well, this yeah. is the video you guys put together for Kickstarter. Take oh, boy. Look at this. Hello, I'm Grant Rosenmeyer. I wasn't done. Hello, I'm Grant... <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Grant Rosenmeyer. And I'm Lindsay Shaw. Thank you so much for checking out this video. It means so much. Please, uh, donate, contribute, comment, share this, anything you can. Like it, share it, donate. Any amount of money counts. Just like one week's worth of allowance. We can use all the help we can get. I think you're really gonna like this movie. And if you don't, there's always message boards. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, man. Wow. Did you make that up or you just script that? No, Is that, that well, uh, I made that idea. Up. I think I might have thrown that in. I don't know. But there are always message boards. You say that you this like sheds light on the millennial situation. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Um, well, you know, I, I feel like there is sort of a, an almost red scare fear of, of uh, like the previous generations to how they misunderstand my generation. And what's nice about this particular movie is not, I, I feel like uh, it not only um, it not only treats our audience with respect or you know it's not just like we can relate to it but I feel like also parents of millennials mm -hmm. which is a term I have a problem with right. but parents of millennials will understand their kids better maybe yeah right. I need help with that yeah, I right? Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's, it's, it's just no, like, uh, you should check out the movie. I, I am. I, I love the idea out. of the movie. The love, is it? the love story is what behind this? Is these two, they find each other, but how yeah. is that? Are they in the in the digital age? Trying um, to this well, out? you know, it, it does sort of tackle, you know, uh, what it means to, uh, you know, have a relationship in the age of social media. And do you yeah. really need to share everything? What's private? What's personal? You know, yeah. what? And the lines have kind of been blurred. And what does it mean to actually have a relationship now? What does love mean? What is connection? Yeah. And I think uh, the film does sort of explore all those ideas. But you know, the the romantic comedy aspect is really just a way in, and it really is a story about growing up and uh, I guess accepting your responsibilities as an adult and your role in other people's lives. Yeah. So it's really a very universal, simple story about people. You know what your, up. your generation did? You completely eliminated the movie theater. Yeah. We did. You did. Sorry. Yeah, we did. Now we're gonna go. Hey, listen, day. man. I'm yeah. not happy about it either. Yeah. I grew up wanting to be in the movie theater. Yeah. Well, this movie did play in theaters a little bit, but I mean, but you know what? It's kind of nice because I kind of look at it like this. I kind of look at it like the the VOD market has sort of taken out the like the home video market. The way that yeah. you used to like, you know, maybe if a movie didn't do well in theaters, you could find it on tape or yeah. on DVD yeah. or, or on cassette. You know, and and I feel like it's just it's an easier way for smaller films like this to reach. Our audiences. Well, so we love the story thing. behind this film, and, film and we would like to invite you back to come back and let us know how the movie is doing and that how would it be did. My absolute okay, pleasure. would you do that? Yeah, check it. Sure. Uh, check it out on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, all of that. You're gonna stick around because we're gonna bring you I have the to next feed you segment. Still. Oh. Work on your. I'm never gonna turn not, down. We're food. not done with food. I will never stuff. turn down food. <laughs> Millennials don't turn down food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right back, and I'll be sharing my tips for how to deal with dating in the digital age.